Los Angeles, home to Hollywood, the LA Lakers, and miles and miles of terrible traffic. Every day, nearly 2.5 million cars, trucks, and buses use the streets and highways of LA, clogging its roads and making the daily commute a real grind for those who live here. But beneath City Hall, traffic engineers have been working to solve the congestion problem. Their solution? Automated Traffic Surveillance and Control, or ADSAC, a network of more than 21,000 sensors and 400 cameras. Each signal is connected either via copper or fiber optic network. And with that network, we're able to uh, receive data from various loop detectors that we have in the streets. Here's how it works. Every time a car drives over a loop detector sensor, it sends a signal back to the ADSAC control center. When traffic builds up at a given intersection, the system will automatically adjust the timing of signal lights to increase the flow of traffic. Before the system was first introduced in 1984 for the Olympics, LA relied on manual signal timing to control traffic patterns, which meant sending a traffic employee to each and every light to change them. Traffic has come to a point where it affects everybody's lives every single day. So we had to figure out a way to make it work better. And developing in-house was one of the key things. What better area to draw from than experience of all these people who have to look at the traffic every day, have to talk to people every day about traffic. 1845. Now, after 28 years of building out the technology, the staff of about 20 ADSAC engineers at the command center can adjust signals remotely for 90% of LA's traffic signals. They expect to have 100% coverage by the end of 2013. Well, each system incorporates maybe from 100 to 300 signals at a time. And on average, the system's cost to build, depending on, is about, I would say about 5 to 10 million each system to build. So we have about 18 systems right now. You believe the cost is worth it. Despite the continued traffic congestion in L.A., he estimates that the system has shaved off around 15 minutes from a driver's average commute. When you improve every day 15 minutes, I say it's commerce, it's business, it's every single thing, daily life. Ultimately, ADSAC can't fix the one major problem facing Los Angeles commuters, the sheer volume of cars on the road. Yet by shaving just a few minutes off their commute with a faster green light, it might just help some drivers stop seeing red. For CNN Money, I'm Jason Sanchez.